Hello everyone and welcome back to Kronos Plays Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Today, we're investigating again. Go us. That was a close one, huh, Mia? Really? That's too bad. I'm sorry I missed it. Dots? Or question mark? But Maya! So, what happened? So, <laughs> you just don't know when your sister takes over your body, huh? Like, you don't remember anything? That could get weird. Well, I think I've got a pretty good idea who did it. Now all I need is a motive and proof. Wow, good going, Nick! Uh, under the initial trial system, tomorrow is the last day we have. Initial trial? What's that? That's the new court system they introduced two or three years ago. They had so many cases in the system, they decided to speed the whole process up, because that leads to fair and balanced trials. So under that system, trials have to end in three days, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Well, we've no time to waste. I mean, we could. Just waste all the time. Hey, what do you think of this camera? This is Cody's. Hey, a digital camera! I'm impressed a kid like him would have something like this exp this expensive. Uh, I guess. I'm not really... I mean, this is what, 2000... something, right? 2000 single digits timeline, yeah? I got my first digital camera probably... I think when I was 20... 19 or 20, I got one for my birthday. I still have it. It's trash. But I still have it. Uh, I actually loaded it up on the computer recently to see if I had any pictures I hadn't gotten off of it. Uh, I, I got all the pictures off of it, but I, it doesn't hold the charge anymore. I don't know how much it cost, though. I'm, I imagine it was actually quite expensive back in the day. I say it's trash now, but that's only because it's been... Like... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> a long time. It's been, like, it's been a long time since I got it. So, yeah. Uh, there's been some technological, like, leaps and bounds since then. I'm trying to remember, though, the cost of it. Digital cameras weren't really a thing back in my day until, until I was, like, late teenage years. Oh, man. <laughs> Kids these days! I don't imagine... Imagine spirit, medium, and training get a lot of toys. I'd imagine. I, I kind of thought, you know, when I first saw her, she kind of looked like a monk from like a JRPG. That might be offensive to monks in real life. I've never met one, but almost every monk that we see in video games usually had dressed like this. Uh, picture book. What do you think about this? It's the fanboy's prized possession. Wow, impressive. It's a little different from the Steel Samurai on TV. These are mostly taken at PR shows they do in stores and fairs. I'm pretty sure it's not even Will Powers inside that suit. Not, no true fan would be satisfied with anything less than the real thing. He's still a child, I suppose. Guess it takes an adult to appreciate the real deal, right, Nick? Uh, yeah. Whatever you say. I think we've already shown you everything else, right? Yeah. I wish I had my own samurai spear. I just think I could poke you as much as I wanted. Me? Why me? Because she's a pervert. All right, uh, talk. The steel samurai. I don't get it, Maya. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel, steal the steel samurai costume? What? You mean Mr. Hammer was wearing the costume? Yeah. But Mr. Hammer was the victim, Nick. Why would he go through the trouble of stealing it? That's what we have to find out. Sorry that you have no clue what I'm talking about. It seems very inconvenient for you. What happened with the director's testimony? Well, it's pretty clear the producer and the director were both in on the in the trial. Or trailer. Uh, huh? Which means the killer has to be one of them. Really? Why? Because the real scene of the crime was Studio 2, where the trailer is. What? Huh. Was Maya always this excitable? Well, have you noticed anything that might help us? I can't see what's going on when Mia's in here. So no, I haven't noticed anything. Right. Maybe we should go talk to WP? Or maybe you should get Mia's ass back out here and have her finish what she goddamn started. WP, powers, right. Can I examine everything again? Mia's favorite potted plant. Maya has been watering so much lately it's a little swollen. She's either trying to make it grow or she's perfecting her water torch technique. 
I examined everything again just to make sure there was nothing new. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do that from now on if we get pretty much repeat visits to places and they uncheck Mocker Glass, just do it off screen because it takes a lot of time. Mr. White! All right! I don't know why I always call you Mr. White like there's no R there or anything. Uh, you did very well today, again. Thank you. Oh, uh, thanks. Uh, could you not look like you're about to burst into tears? I think that's his default expression, dog. Wow, Nick, you must have been really, you must have really wowed him in there. And could you wipe that grin off your face? It's creepy. Hey, WP, only one day left until you're dead. Let's make it count. Yeah. Though there's no, not really anything I can do to help. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I can do either. Please, this is no laughing matter. Uh, camera? Excuse me. Thank you for showing me that. I really like it. I want one for myself. Have you seen this, Mr. Powers? What's that? I've never seen these steel samurais in my life. So, okay. Were you not at the trial? Were you not at your own trial? Because we we're pretty much we brought this up in trial, and you don't have no idea what the hell it is. So you don't go to your own trial? You just sit out in the lobby? That's weird, dog. These are the steel samurais that appear in li at live shows. A family collected all these pictures himself. Dots? Seeing things like this really makes me think. I mean, so much to these kids, you know. All right. I'm pretty sure we showed everything else to you before. Regarding the murder weapon. Yeah. Is it heavy, that spear? Oh, it's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think any an average person would be able to swing it around effectively. We already had you say that. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run-through. Oh, yeah, I goofed around a kick. I goofed around kick, you see. And I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it up for me right away. With duct tape, we heard. She's related to Red Green. Uh, talk. Uh, producer of Vasquez. Could you tell me more about Ms. Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She's well respected in the industry. They say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. Right or wrong, nobody dares tell her different these days. Why is that? Ever since she came on board, we've had nothing but hits. Global Studios was on its knees, and she picked it up and made it shine. Oh, and... And? What? N n nothing Forget it. I I've only heard rumors anyhow. What are the rumors? Salman Alaman. Can you tell me anything about him? Oh, he used to be a minor straight-to-video director, but something in his work caught Vasquez's eyes. She brought the Steel Samurai into him. Now everyone knows the name Salmonella. Most because of the whole disease outbreak, but also because of him. I hear he's pretty much at her beck and call, though. Whenever she says jump, he asks how high and all that. I can imagine him being uh, at her beck and call, though. I can't imagine him jumping. Ha <laughs> ha! He's fat. Mr. Hammer. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. Oh, yeah, you're right. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. How old are you, dog? Because you look like you're in between 20 and 80. But he just stopped working on taking on big roles. That's when he began appearing in little productions at Global. How could he do that? I was really looking forward to the sequel, Samurai Summer. He just gave up being a star five years ago. Actually, now that I think about it, that was right when Miss Vasquez came to, the glo to, came to Global. And the music stopped. Five years ago. We got nothing to go on there. We're, we're not nothing like, hey, five years ago. Hey, dog, can you believe this shit? I guess not. Uh, move? Back to the studio. Oh, it's her. Lovely. Dots. 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 The old windbag sure is quiet today. Dots. You know, this place is really peaceful like this. Nick, I think her guard's down. Yeah? I bet we could even eat those donuts in the guard station if we wanted to. You eat, you die. <laughs> Phew, she's alive. 
<laughs> hey, what do you think about this camera? Uh, Ms. Oldbag, what do you think of this? Think? I'm not in the mood for thinking. Thank you very much. No thinking? I'm yeah, just checking, dog. You all right? Um, I was wondering about D. Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio big legs love her. So she always gets her way. She seems bitter. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Salmonella? Sal, he's a soft... A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him, seems the type. She treats him like dirt, but I think he likes it. Huh? Why would anyone be like being treated like dirt? We don't kink shame around here. Openly, we do it silently, Maya. Maya, Maya. Yes, that's your name. Doesn't that make... That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Uh, no. No, it doesn't, Maya. I don't miss the hammer. Ah! I heard about what you said today, cheeky whippersnapper. Poor old hammer. You dragged his star down from the sky and stomped on it. Calling him a criminal, a thief. I, 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 I won't forget this. Uh-oh, she's really pissed off this time. You listen to me, whippersnapper. My poor old hammer would never do such a thing. Why would he steal Power's costume so he could sneak by me? He would never stoop so low. It's impossible. All right, goodbye. I should probably examine, right? All right, to the employee area, maybe? I guess they're not filming today either. I didn't want to see them filming just one time. The trial will be over and done by tomorrow. You can come see them film later. Probably, maybe. I'd be surprised if they ever let us back in here. I guess. This is where you found the bottle, that bottle of sleeping pills, right? Uh-huh. I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Gumshoe. Yeah! No, no, no! No touching! Eek! Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. It didn't mean. I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I guess I can be a little, uh, drama uh, dramatique? At times, sure. Drama- oh my god. God damn it. Dramatique, huh, Kronos? Not dramatic. Dramatique. You alright, Kronos? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, guess, I suppose it could be the actor in me. Dramatic indeed. Uh -huh. Anyway, anyway, I'm here to explain. Examine a plate on the table. Wait, you're looking at the. Look, you're looking. Are you looking for sleeping pills? Yeah, pal. Traces there hole. All right. Uh, camera. <laughs> I need nothing. I mean. Really, get nothing? I mean, I knew you didn't know much, man, but still. Alright, talk. So you look for traces for the sleeping pills. How? For a thorough examination, I gotta take the place back to the precinct. But I have the capability of making a curiosity examination right here. Our science guy gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? If there's traces of it, it'll change color. Wow, neat! Well, Detective Gumshoe, what are you waiting for? No, no, every, everything in due time, pal. Dots? 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 Well, the test solution on the plate changed color, all right? So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. Steak plate added to the court records. Uh, the investigation. So how goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch suspects. What do you think, Detective Gumshoe? Well, pal, I hate to admit it, but I'm not sure I buy the case against Mr. Power anymore. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Prosecute Edgeworth. How is Edgeworth doing, anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. <laughs> he was in he was in the waiting room and he crushed, uh, crushed his paper cup 
with hot, hot coffee in it. Well, oh, that was dumb. Talk about birds, pal! Wow, the Fury of Edgeworth! Yeah, crushing paper cups. Cups. Bottles. What? Why did we say that? Say, whatever happened to that empty bottle? Oh, empty bottle of sleeping pills. Oh, the empty bottle of sleeping pills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. They found the victim, Jack Hammer's prince, on the bottle. So that means... Yeah, but sounds like the one who put powers to sleep was none other than the victim. So I was right. Sleeping pill bottle. Alright. Uh, about that, though. It looked like Will Powers was drugged. I'm going to go back to the precinct to do some more detailed tests. You're being very free with your information today, detective. Well, don't go telling anyone this, pal. But I have a kind of impress... I, I was kind of impressed at today's trial, too. Most lawyers would have given up after the director's testimony. I think it's been... I think if it's been anyone but you up there, powers would have been done for by now. Thanks? Detective, what the bottle? No, that? Talk about embarrassing, pal. I can't believe I missed that on my first sweep of her evidence. Don't know how I can apologize to Mr. Edgeworth. Must be tough being a detective with all that responsibility. Oh, <laughs> Blush. <laughs> Alright. See you later, dog. I gotta examine this room. Oh, yeah. So that's new. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> they know if they fix it, I just kick it off again because I'm an asshole. That's... That poor assistant. I know, right? We're making more work for that lady. And we're vandalizing. Which is just rude. Alright, into the dressing room. Oh, hello. What are you doing in here? Taking a nap? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... What? Why? But WP's innocent. Yeah, and I'm really grateful all of you done. But... This week is the last episode of Steel Samurai. What? No! Talk? Mr. Hammer. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yeah? On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh, I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Samurai costume too! What? Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Oh. I guess that rumor must be true then. The rumor? Yeah, Miss Vasquez, that producer, has some kind of hold on Mr. Hammer. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Some dirt? What dirt? Dots. Dirt, you know, bad stuff. Um, I, I know what dirt means. About five years ago... <laughs> About, Jesus Christ. About five years ago, they were filming the movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio, Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during the trial. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. What a waste of money. They said the film set was... Uh, the, they let the film set the way it was, too. The film set? Was that trailer part of the film set, then? Okay. It's gonna come back to that bent little pokey thing, yeah? The last episode. What do you mean, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios are gonna change its programming. They're not gonna do make any kid shows anymore. What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Studio policy. Why aren't they gonna make kid shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all the this ever happened. They want it quiet, you know? You understand? How? How can they do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? They can watch reruns? Um, it's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They'll find a new hero to follow. No, that can't be true. No, that's actually 100% true. Kids are very fickle. Like, some kids will get obsessed with a character and never lose it, but... Really? It's... It's what's ever in front of them. If you keep showing the same thing, they're gonna love it. If it goes away, they might complain a little bit, but eventually it's just gonna be something new. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure for like a week. Nick, say something! Um, yeah. 
I think evidence rather than words is, call, is called for here. Here, take a look at this. Uh, scrapbook? Take that! Take that! And this is... Uh, fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be canceled just so some adults could save face. I would think he would understand that better than anyone. I think she doesn't have a goddamn say in the matter. She's an assistant. You're right. Okay. But what, but what can I do? Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios is so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Okay. Could you tell us about what happened five years ago? I know I just asked you that, and you were like, okay, I'll do it, but I had to select the option anyways. Well, I can tell you what I've heard. Apparently five years ago, someone died, and it was Hammer's fault. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. Anyway, the producer, Ms. Vasquez, managed to hush it up. And that's the dirt she had on Mr. Hammer. And that's why Mr. Hammer would do anything Ms. Vasquez asked him to do? But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they make it public? Because they didn't want that in the news? Well, you know Mr. Hammer was a big star back then. They were afraid about what would happen to his career if, if word got out. You see... You know who knows more about this? Ms. Old Bag? She was here at the studios back then, you know. Thanks. We'll try asking her. If she'll talk. Um... Sleeping pills? What's that? An empty bottle of sleeping pills. With Mr. Hammer's fin fingerprints on it. Now I'm really confused. Sorry, but I'm a vegetarian and I don't like steak. Blasphemy! Wow, wow! It must have taken him forever to collect all these... Kids love to steal samurai! <laughs> they do, don't they? You don't know anything about the, the murder weapon? Alright. So this photo was Mr. Hammer all along? It seems that way. Why would Mr. Hammer do something like that? Good question. Uh, let's see. Let's, I guess, examine the room before I head to Ms. Old Bag. Put all WB's personal belongings in there. He'll be able to come pick them up, right? I'm sure he'll come, yeah, probably, if he ever gets out of the detention center. And he gets found innocent. Oh, wow, you remembered, Nick! Thanks. <laughs> so, yeah, the, the only other new one, aside from that, in the bag, was the exam this. She's like, oh, I haven't cleaned that up yet, sorry. I'm like, yeah, take your time. It's your job, not mine. Uh, studio main gates. What? You still slinking around? If you like the place so much, why don't you take over from me? The old Wimmick doesn't look so good. Everybody's doing their darndest to forget Hammer. Who do they think made Global Studios what it is today? Hammer! It's all due to Hammer time. She's starting to froth at the mouth, Nick. Maybe we should keep at a safe distance. Yeah, you don't want to get freaking rabies from her, I guess. Five years ago. Um, I want to ask you about five years ago. Who told? Who did you hear that from? Um, huh? Nichols! Nichols? Oh, Nichols. Oh, Nichols, Nick. Penny Nichols. Oh, I forgot her last name was Nichols. Uh, that assistant was, uh, that's the assistant we talked to. Oh, right. Anyways, we heard about the accident. It was during filming with Jack Hammer. He killed a man, didn't he? Whippers snappers! Dredging up dirt on someone's past like that, and the recently departed, no less. I suppose you think this is fun? I'm having a good time. No, I'm just doing my job to protect Mr. Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume? You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? Proof that Hammer stole Powers' costume? Hmm, I have proof. I'm sorry, Ms. Old Bag, but I do have proof. I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Power's proof with these fingerprints. Here's proof. What? What's a little empty bottle supposed to prove? It's a bottle of sleeping pills with Mr. Hammer's fingerprints on it. 
What does that prove? I'm sure old Hammer had some sleepless nights. Where's your proof that he used the pills? Mr. Rouse ate a T-bone steak at lunch, correct? Well, yes, so? This is the plate that he used to eat the steak. There are traces of sleeping powder on the plate. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. His old bag? Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. His old bag? You hold nothing in. What are you talking about? You're right. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo, well, it caused quite a stir. I guess you made it all better. Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. Oh, great. She silenced that paparazzi. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. I see. But you have to understand, poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Miss Old Bag? Hold on a minute. Poor Miss Old Bag. Here, take this. A photograph? Oh, hey, it was! Wait a second. This... This is the picture. Is this the trailer in Studio 2? Hammer was supposed to fight a bad guy on top of those stairs. He pushed the other actor, and the man fell on the flower box. How? How do you push someone on the stairs, and they fall like that? There's, there is no physical way that could happen if you pushed them over the railing. He, you would have had to pick him up over your head, military press him style, and chuck him onto that spear. Fence, whatever the hell it is. But how did you get this? It was a long time ago. I don't feel much like talking about it. I understand. Were you the paparazzi? Alright. So, hey, uh... Poor old Hammer. He was a big star. The biggest. That accident five years ago is what did him in. He wanted to hide it. He didn't want anyone to know. Poor silly old Hammer. If he had just come out and confessed, then Vasquez wouldn't have gotten her claws into him. Okay. I mean... Sorry, don't want to talk. We already asked you this stuff, yeah. Sorry, okay. Just double checking. Now! Oh, here it is. Okay, I was gonna say, someone mentioned I should check out the... The, uh, the, the mug shots, the profiles, and I was like, I have no idea where those are. So, I can't really select them, but yeah, okay, age 17, Mia's little sister, currently trying to become a spirit medium. Miles is 24, that's surprising. Gumshoe's 30, believable. You're 23! Really? Age unknown? Uh, 70? Age 37? Man, anime is really weird with how they draw their characters sometimes, right? These guys look the same age. Uh, you don't look really seven, to be honest. You're 18. Okay. You're 32. You look 50. And you're 34. You also look like you're in your 40s. Or 50, even. Maybe it's just the awful makeup. That's rude, Kronos. It is rude, actually. I like her makeup. Um, alright, well, that is gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one of my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.